Good morning, Believe Nation. Today's message is make your own decisions. Over to you, Robert De Niro. I wake up every morning with espresso, keep me going. Personally, I always try to listen because I might be not, I, maybe I'm not getting something. I always try and take everybody's, because it's, it's important to listen to everyone, as many people as you can, and get their input. But then finally, you have to make your own decision about what you're going to do, and that's it. That's what you feel, and that's it. And that, that's the most important thing, um, I, I think. The most important thing, because that's where the uniqueness comes in. Because it's you, you've done it, it's your thing. It's not anybody else's, it's your choice. So I like to tell Alex, who's on my team, who's the operations manager uh, of Toronto Dance Salsa, has been a friend of the channel here, has been on a couple times. I like to tell him that I'm open until I'm not. And this is my process of making decisions where at the start, I have a vision, I have an idea, but it's not concrete yet. I'm still trying to figure a lot of stuff out. I may have an idea of, of the emotional reaction I want people to have or what the final product may look like, but there's a lot of steps that are still missing, right? I have a general concept, but a lot of the holes are still there. And so I'm open, I'm talking, I'm asking questions. What do you think? I need your input. And then I'm not open, right? You get to the point where, okay, I made a decision. This is what I want to do. This is what we're doing. We're not talking about it anymore. Now we're going to execute. Because if all you're doing is taking feedback constantly and you don't make up your mind and you don't have your own stake in the ground, then you never get anything done. Then you try to do everything by committee and that's not the way to build something unique and to really build a company. I find that when you have expertise, you can get there a lot faster. And when you're still learning, it may take you a little bit longer to come to your own decision. As an example, I'm writing a book now. This is my first book that I've ever written. There's a lot of stuff that I don't know about, a lot of things that I'm unfamiliar about. I'm documenting the process and journey in the Evans book series. So because I don't know about it, I'm taking a lot of feedback in. I'm asking a lot of questions. I'm asking my friends. I'm asking people in the industry. I'm asking people who don't know anything about the industry, just who read books. I'm asking people who don't read books. You know, I'm getting feedback from all sorts of different sources and it's taking me longer to get to a decision on some of the things that I need to make decisions on because I've never done it before. Where if you look at speaking or my YouTube channel or the salsa business or a lot of other things that I have more experience in, I can get there a lot faster because I had the experience. And so, for you guys, I encourage you to take feedback in, listen to others, see what works for you, see what feels right, right? Like listen to your gut, but then you need to make your own decision, right? You gotta do the thing that you feel is best. I'm open until I'm not. So the question today, today is, I'm curious, what was the last decision that you really owned? The last decision that somebody may have hated on or didn't agree with or made you feel a little bit uncomfortable, you said, you put your flag in the ground and said, this is where we're going. This is what I'm going to do. What was that decision? Leave it in the comments below and I'll join the discussion. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Continue to believe and I'll see you again tomorrow morning for another shot of Enspresso. I wake up every morning. Enspresso, keep me going.